Ooh, that was a weird whistler. Woo, 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 what noise was that? That was like a ghost noise that just came out of me. Um, <laughs> supposed to be a noise of frustration, but it was like a ghost, like just inhabited my body. Hi guys, my name is Izzy. I'm a sporadic YouTuber. Uh, Josh is like super loud and gaming downstairs, so if you hear any profanities, I'm trying to muffle them with the heater, mostly because I'm cold. But um, yeah, he's just, he's like on like something today, and it's just like, it's, it's a little extra irritating today for some reason. Um, probably because I didn't sleep because that's all I heard all night. Um, <laughs> I'm just a little bitter, which makes this, the like mood for this video, like perfect. Uh, so anyway, yeah, so, um, I'm here to do my Grinchathon announcement. Oh, oh yeah. And the shirt is like covered in cat hair first off, but the shirt, this, the sweater is like one button away from like my boobs bursting out. So like if that happens mid video, I'm sorry um, for flashing you. But anyway, uh, yeah, my channel's not safe for ch children, by the way. So if you're a kid, get the fuck off. Um, because I'm talking about boobs. So sorry. I put that in the Grinchathon video. Oh God. Sorry. Grinch mode. Grinch mode. Anyway, if you don't know what Grinchathon is, it is a readathon that I created, um, centered around the holiday season. Why? Because I fucking hate the holiday season. Yes, I'm cursing. I'm sorry. This is just who I am. I'm so sorry if you come to see the Grinchathon announcement and you're like, oh, she's vulgar. I'm out. <laughs> this is who I am, guys. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I created this readathon because during the holiday season, there's so many holiday readathons on booktube and I couldn't do it. I just couldn't take it anymore. I don't like the holidays. I don't like them. And I think and I think I'm not the only one because Scritchathon exists. Um, but I created a readathon that was super chill, super laid back, and centered around just just reading and having fun and trying to relax during the holiday season because the holiday season sucks and I hate it so much and ugh, it's the worst. That being said, you do not have to be a Grinch or the holidays do not have to be hard for you for you to participate in Grinchathon. Um, everyone's welcome. I have quite a few people who are holiday lovers that participate in Grinchathon just because they love me so much and they love what I do and thanks guys. Um, <laughs> but no, you don't have to be a Grinch to participate, although it does help. Everything Grinchathon, by the way, is on the Grinchathon Twitter. Uh, that's the best place to see everything. Just make sure your notifications are on. We do run Twitter sprints. I say we, like uh, there's more than just me, but it's just me. I run, I run it all because I'm crazy and I don't know. And I like to be in control. I don't know. I'm Slytherin. I don't know. Anyway, the dates are from the 15th to the 21st of December. It is the week before Christmas. The most important thing that I'm sure you guys want to know is the challenges. Now, before I get into the challenges, I always have a little bit of a disclaimer because the best part about Grinchathon is manipulating the challenges. Here's the deal. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a readathon police person at all. Not even a little bit. So here's the deal. These challenges are very vague for a reason. They're very open. Uh, because I want you to manipulate them to fit what you want to read. This is all about you, not about me. Well, it is kind of a little bit about me because I created it, but <laughs> I'll be participating too. But uh, I want you to manipulate the challenges whatever way you see fit. I've had people that are just really good at manipulating the challenges and twisting them to fit their like TBR and like they come up with ideas that I'm like, whoa, that's crazy. That being said, you can also stack the challenges. You can use one book for every single challenge. You can discard the challenges altogether. You can use books that you're already reading. If you read, you have one page left of a book that you're currently reading and you finish that during Grinchathon, that's a win. Hell, if you read one word during Grinchathon, I consider that a win. I just want you to relax. That's the main thing, is to just chill, relax, enjoy, and just, just be happy. <laughs> Or be better, actually, because it's more appropriate. Anyway, let's get into the challenges, because I know that's what y'all are waiting for. Challenge number one is green and black. Uh, this sounds really like straightforward, but you could really manipulate it if you want. Green and black have become like the Grinchathon like theme colors for me, because green, like the Grinch, and black, like my soul. Uh, you could interpret this however you want. I know it sounds pretty straightforward, but 
you could be super basic like I will probably be and just pick a book that has green and black on the cover somewhere or you could be wearing green and black you could have a blanket that has green and black and you're snuggled up you could read two different books one's green one has like a speck of green and one has a speck of black or you could discard it all together like I said so you do you challenge number two is diverse now I have I include this challenge every single Grinchathon. I wish I didn't have to because y'all should be reading diversely anyway. But it's mostly a lot of these challenges get created because there's a lot of books on my TBR that I've been dying to get to, and I'm like, that could work for that challenge, and that could work for that challenge, kind of thing. Um, so if diverse is pretty straightforward, but if that doesn't fit you um, or what you want to read, then you could do like something out of your comfort zone or I don't know. Manipulate it. Surprise me. Discard the challenge altogether. Whatever. Um, but yeah, I think I know what I'm going to read already, but I'm not 100% sure. Challenge number three is warm because it's cold as hell already and I hate it. Um, so this is a warm read or it could be a feel good read, like something that's just going to make you feel warm inside. Um, it could be a book that has warm colors on the cover. It could be a book that has a sun on the cover. It could be a book that has something related with summer. I don't know. Set in summer. I don't know. You, you, it could be a nice fluffy contemporary that's just going to make you feel warm inside. I don't know. You figure it out. Challenge number four is pics. So pictures, pictures. I should probably like elaborate. Um, for me, I have a lot of graphic novels that I've been trying to get to. So this is why this is an excuse for me to read more graphic novels. Um, but this is any book with any picture, either inside, outside. Uh, if you want to read a book that doesn't have a picture on the outside, which technically everything could be considered a picture, but if you have a book that like doesn't have a picture or have a, I don't know, art on it. I don't know if you, and you just want to read a book that just has like a pretty cover that's aesthetically pleasing to you that counts for me just the cover just like a nice cover sure why not why not who cares challenge number five because I'm a little behind on my Goodreads goal not that Goodreads matters at all but I uh, because of school things have like taken a back burner reading has taken a back burner the next one is short slash easy so a short quick read for you or an easy read for you something that's gonna like give you that quick feeling of accomplishment this could be a book that you're already reading that you only have a few pages left of this could be a book this could be like an 800 page book but you just are know you're just gonna buzz through it real quick you're crazy but you can do it <laughs> whatever you consider a quick easy read challenge number six is something you're dying to read there are so many books that I'm dying to read before the end of the year that I just uh, they're just staring at me and I just want them so much just in my brain and in my heart and I need them um, so this is just something you're dying to read now if you're not particularly dying to read anything um, you could pick like something that's just gonna help you towards a goal for the end of the year like your Goodreads goal or anything really and challenge number seven is dark I want you to pick something dark I always put this challenge in um, some people have really gotten creative with this they've either they've read their book at night um, because it's dark they've read their book under covers because it's dark y'all just surprised me yeah Josh is really yelling um this could be a book with a dark cover could be a book with dark themes it could be a book with dark in the title I mean get crazy guys um uh, yeah this could be really interpreted any way you see fit all right that is it I do have to do some Instagram challenges for any of y'all that want to participate in that but I'm going to just put them down below here and also on my Instagram so if you follow me on Instagram the link is down below please follow me on Instagram <laughs> it's really not exciting if you like cats books and traveling that's like all my Instagram is and it has no theme so it, it looks like a mess but I don't care because that's me I'm chaotic this is real life guys um, there's no filters I never use filters ever for a point no I just don't want to use filters they're just too much fucking work and people like I'm really I'm very much an old school school person that refuses to use filters I refuse to use like anything to edit my photos I'm just really weird because I think like there's so much oversaturation this is like a whole TED talk but there's so much oversaturation of like fakeness on every social media platform that like I try to be as real as I can with you guys so like yeah I don't I don't use any of that on Instagram I used to but I don't ever anymore I think I did for like a week and then I gave up
Except for I did, I did do a black and white challenge once where it was like, show your photos in black and white. Five black and white photos. Blah, 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 blah. Um, but yeah. Anyway. Anyway, so I will be announcing the challenges over there on Instagram. So please make sure you're following me there. Um, if you don't have Instagram and you still want to participate in the challenges, they're going to be listed down below here. Um, you can, they're just photo challenges, so you don't have to use Instagram to do them. You can use them, you can do them on Twitter. Um, there will be Twitter sprints as well. I don't know the dates or times because my life is crazy. But, um, yeah, there will be Twitter sprints. Again, just make sure you're following the at Grinch on Twitter. Uh, yeah. Also, if you don't have a YouTube or Instagram or Twitter or anything, I don't know how you're watching this, but, uh, then you can just participate anyway and just just participate just for funsies um so anyway that's it i love you guys so much um yeah i will see you in the next video i guess and all that fun stuff i'll see you during grinchathon i love you goodbye